Okay, well here we are at video three in our uh, introduction to Blender Game Engine bunker set. And in this one, uh, we're going to carry on um, from video two. We've now got a little room to test in with a few lights, and uh, we're now going to set up uh, the player character. So, um, first thing I'm going to do is we're going to select this light. I'm going to first thing I'm going to do. Just put my screencast keys on, there we go. <clears throat> and then we're going to select this light and uh, move it away from the center. We're going to uh, shift D to create another one. Uh, move that one. Make sure I've got both bits, there we go. And move that one into that corner. Right. So that leaves the middle empty, and this is where we're going to create our character. So uh, if I click on that middle square, you'll see there's an orange dot there, uh, and that's the center, the origin of that um, particular mesh. And what we're going to do is we're going to center our 3D cursor on that, and then we're going to create a cube. This is the 3D cursor, and um, Sometimes it can get in the way, but uh, it can be really handy. And we're going to use it now. Uh, we're going to hit uh, Shift S on the keyboard, and we're going to go uh, Cursor to Selected, and that centers our 3D cursor um, on that object. So when we create a new object, it'll appear in that space. So if we hit uh, the full stop on the number keypad. That will focus in on that area. Then we can uh, use the mouse wheel to go in and out a little. But uh, there we are, we're focused in on that area. And if we now uh, deselect that, we go Shift A to add a cube. So go Mesh Cube, add a cube. There we go. Big cube. We're going to turn Snap off and we're going to scale this cube and it wants to be just less than a little bit less than uh, one grid unit wide and then we're going to scale it so it's about twice as tall as a cube so around right about there uh, if we go to um, the graphic by uh, I'll show you again how I did that uh, uh, number pad five key switches between perspective and orthographic and seven when you're in orthographic seven goes to a top view one to a front and three to the side so if we hit z key let's go to wireframe mode we can see our what will be our player and um, the origin is uh, in the center we don't want it in the center we want it at the bottom so what we're going to do is go to hit tab to go to edit mode, which it uh, doesn't really matter whether you've uh, got vertices or edges or faces selected, as long as you've got everything. So hit A until everything in the cube is selected. And move everything up so that the origin, the orange dot, is at the bottom. And then hit tab again to come out of edit mode and then move the whole cube down near to the bottom near to the floor, don't put it through the floor, put it near the floor because what's going to happen is in the game engine <coughs> that origin point is uh, the physics collision reference point so that's just going to drop that short distance to the floor once the physics are activated in the game engine so I'll hit Z again and there we go So we're, you can either view this in orthographic or perspective mode, it doesn't really matter. Um, so there's our cube. Um, we'll name that before we do anything else. We'll go to, there we go, cube, we'll call that player. Okay, and one other thing we want to do to this is, let me see. Okay, what we need to do to this cube is we need to select its display type as a wire because we're going to put a camera in the middle uh, 
which is going to be our first person view. So we need to actually go to the uh, physics panel as well and set this to be a character and an actor. Okay, so there we go. We've created our player character. Uh, it's physics type, it's a character, and it's an actor. Okay, dokey. So uh, what we're going to do now is add uh, a camera to it. So click A to deselect it. Uh, go Shift A to add the camera, um, and it'll put it in a kind of an odd position there. So go to the top here of this N. If this panel isn't open, hit N to view this panel. Rotation, we can clear those at zero, zero, and then we can move the camera as we need to. We need to need its origin to be close to the top of the cube. The player cube. There we go. So it needs to be there. And um, we need to rotate in X ninety. Enter. Oh, I do anyway. Um, yours might be different. In which case, just um, you can uh, rotate it by hand. If we go R Z, so you can rotate it like that. And if you hold down Control, it will set to uh, five degree increments. I think it's five degree. There we go. Um, so if we set it there, it's not quite far enough, is it? So I'll go to the top view and rotate, hold down control. There we go. <clears throat> so it's set to look where we want it to, but it's it's uh, big. It's too big. So we need to scale it down. There we go. Uh, and that's why we've set the cube as uh, invisible and as, as just a wire object, because otherwise when we look through the player camera here, player point of view, you wouldn't see anything. You'd be looking at the inside of the cube. So we need to parent the uh, camera to the cube now. And the camera is going to be a child of the cube. So uh, you need to select both and then uh, parent one to the other. And a good way to remember which way round this goes is that um, if you think a child is the responsibility of the parent. so. You select the child first, child is the responsibility of, shift select the cube as the parent, hit control P and set parent to object. And then you'll notice in the middle from the camera's origin there's a little dotted line going to the cube origin. So if we move the camera, we can move the camera separately, but if we move the cube they'll both move. Okay. So I'll just undo that, get us back to where we were. Okay, I'm going to take a slip of coffee. Mm. Right, now, what's next? Oh yes, we need to introduce you to the logic editor. So let's move this up. This is where a timeline where we've set our animation. We're going to go down to the bottom corner, change this to the logic editor, which appears here. If you can't see everything in on screen, scroll out with your mouse wheel until you can see these three uh, bars at the top here. We're going to, with the cube selected, we're going to add a game property first. Just move this out so we can see it. And we're going to call this player with a capital P. The spelling of that is important. So yeah, put that capital in there. And then here, this is where we add all our logic bricks. And we're going to create some keyboard sensors to move our player around. So uh, we're going to add sensor, we're going to add a keyboard sensor. Uh, this one's going to be up, we're going to name it up. Um, hit that first button there, which means um, pulse mode, which means that the um, the game engine is constantly looking for input from this. Um, and the key, if we hit this blank bar here, it says press a key, so we hit W. W is going to be our up key. And what we'll do is we'll add the up and down keys, and then we'll see how the movement looks. So uh, we'll add another one, we'll collapse that one, we'll add another one. And this will be down. And 
pause mode on and press a key or press S. And over here we need to add two actuators, two motion actuators. And we could choose uh, character motion, but we don't actually need to. We just, for this case, we just need simple motion. And we don't really need to name these. Now, um, for our character to go up with our camera facing that way, our up direction or forward direction is minus x, because that's positive x direction. So we're looking at the minus x direction. So in x, we need to go, and I've tested this before, and it's about minus 0.05. Okay, so I'll put that in. And I'll connect up the keyboard up. If we click it in this um, dot here, we can drag that across and connect those two together, and it automatically puts in uh, a controller for us. We don't need to worry about that just yet. So that's that one. We'll add another one. Motion controller, and again, simple motion. This will be positive x to move back. So 0.05. Connect those together, and we can try this. Uh, if we go to textured mode, so that we can actually see this in the game engine, hit P. There we are in the game engine, and forward and back, forward and back. So I'm hitting W to go forward and S to go back. So that's okay, and the movement speed is okay as well. So we'll hit Escape to come out of the game engine, and we'll add our other keyboard sensors. So add one and add another. So we've added two more. This is left and pulse mode on and it's going to be A. Collapse that one. This one is going to be right pulse mode on and this one is D. Add two more motion actuators. and connect up the left one and this one is going to be minus y you can see this is the y over here so this one is minus y so minus 0 0.05 enter and last one is going to be 0 0.05 <coughs> in the plus direction so we'll join those up again as well there we go, again, test it. And there we go. So we can go left, right, up, down. Good, so we've got all of those. Right, now we've got to look at mouse movement. And a bit more coffee, right. So we're going to add a um, mouse movement to the camera. So we're going to add a sensor to the camera with this camera selected. You can see here that the camera is selected. We're going to add a mouse sensor and it's going to be a movement sensor. We need pulse mode on and we're going to add a, a Python controller to this. And we're going to call it mouse look. So we've already got mouse there. So look, capital M, capital L. Okie dokie. And add a motion controller, motion actuator. And this is going to be up, down, capital U, capital D. Okay, so we'll uh, connect all those together. Right, now, while we've got that open, we'll actually add the Python script for that. And we're going to do this in this window here. We're going to change this to our text editor. We're going to um, open our file. So if we click in the text there, and open text block, and it'll go to... Um, I've got it set up so that it goes to the right folder, but you'll need to navigate to wherever you've kept your files. 
there's the mouse look.py script that we need. Open that. And there it is. It's uh, opened in the text window, mouse look.py. And that means that if we click in here, we'll be able to select it because it's part of the same blend file now. Okay, so that will uh, that will work as it is. So that's what we need to do to the camera. Then we need to uh, shift select the player cube as well. And you see, don't panic, but uh, you see all our controllers down there, including the player and the camera. And we need to add another actuator to the cube. So add actuator motion and this is going to be called left right we don't need a capital E there there we go and connect that to the Python controller as well okay see what I did there just uh, put a these are called noodles just put one in from the Python controller to that motion controller okay that's all the complicated stuff done we can test this now if we go to uh, our camera view so with our cursor in this window if we hit uh, that zero on the number key number pack go to that view we can uh, zoom in with um, scroll mouse wheel up and if we now hit P to go to the game engine you can see we've got mouse movement and we've still got our WSD movement as well the mouse movement is a bit sluggish for me I'd like it to be a little faster so we'll hit escape to come out of the game engine and this is where we set that value so what I want to do is to knock a zero off this there we go I just knocked a zero off that value so I'll click in this window again we actually don't want anything selected, so if I've got something selected, just hit A to deselect it. And hit P for the game engine. And let's see there, that's better. Um, if this movement is uh, looking choppy on the playback, it's because um, obviously I'm recording the screen as well. You won't be doing that, so yours will be nice and smooth. So there we go, we've got movement. I might lower the camera a bit, you can see it's quite close to the top of the bunker sections so we'll escape out of that and uh, we'll hit the zero on the number keypad to come out of camera view or if we go back by hitting that again you can just move the view and it'll come out of a camera view so yeah I'll move the camera down a little bit and then um, if we could look through it again that's better so we hit P to test it in game again. That's better. That's a bit lower down. Okie dokie. And deselect everything. So that's us done. You can see we, we, we've gone through quite a complicated setup there to get that to work. But that's done now. Um, so all we need to do now is uh, build our bunker. And that will be done in video 4. Okay. See you there.